Welcome back to Dracon's Plays, The Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. Alright. Let's take on Bellum and finish this. Okay. What? What? Did I do? Um... Alright. Bellum, Evil Phantom. So now it's arrow time. All right, now it's back to this. All right. Now it's back this. And then it jumps up. Because that makes sense. Oh, really? Behind the pillar? Whoa. 
What is that? He just spit something out. Ew, why? I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. It reminds me of another time. Eek! What? What was that? I... I feel so strange. I... I wonder what that was. Celia... Grandpa? That is the lost... That is the memory you lost. Long ago, Bellum attacked you, stealing your power in memories. Now those memories have surfaced. You have them back. Ah, I remember. I, I remember it all now. I'm Celia, the spirit of time and courage. I finally remember everything. All right, Celia. Now is the time to deliver the final blow to Bellum. That monster still lives to perform the last step. Celia, I think you know what you need to do next. Yeah, leave it to me. All right, let's go, Dracons. Got my memory back. Soon you'll see what I can really do. All right. Ah, it's hard to predict his wild movements. It's okay. With me at your side, you can take on any enemy. And as long as I trust my true power to the Phantom Hourglass, you have the ability to stop time. First, focus your power on the Hourglass with the Phantom Sphere I release. Each Phantom Sphere has the ability to stop time just once. Phantom, um, ugh. The Hourglass icon will appear at the bottom of the screen. Touch that and draw the shape of the Phantom Hourglass of figure eight. Time will stop. You did it! You stopped time! I'll do my best to create the next Phantom Seer as fast as possible. Hang in there. With the damage buff, it is easy. Like for the bosses, there's no doubt that the damage buff is like the best way to go. Well, that's not good. Look out, the ceiling is cracking, Dracon. The exit is still blocked. What do we do? Oh no! Why couldn't we just take one step backwards? Alright, I am gonna switch the screen setup. Uh, that's not correct. Hey, old man, come look at this for a second. Old man? Well, you tried. <laughs> Ugh, ah, what's going on? Look who it is falling out of the sky on my head. Work on where you teleport people, old man. So the one that got us out of the temple, that was you, Grandpa? Yes, it was me. The two of you have done well. It's not gone, but the seal holding me is weakened. My power was restored enough to bring you here. Hey, kid. Wake up and look at this, Dracons.
Oh. Tetra's gonna be okay, right, Grandpa? He nodded. Ha, oh, very well done, Dragons. After you slew Bellum, I used some of my power and focused it on Tetra. Seems to have worked. She's recovering nicely. I think she'll be fine. Seems you have done it, Dracons. This scene would be one of the weirdest things to wake back up to. I owe you a big thanks, Dracons. Since I got on that ghost ship, I've been dreaming. I know that you saved me, Dracons. I saw everything. Oh, phew! Looks like you're gonna be fine! It's nice to meet you. Thank you for saving me, Celia. Oh, no, no. That I didn't do a thing. It was all Dracons! Drop. Ahem! Mm. Ahem! <laughs> Thank you too, Lineback. I'm grateful for everything. Oh, oh no, it, it was nothing really. Pretty standard. No way was I gonna let these two go it alone. It was too dangerous. I had to step in and help out. What are you talking about? You left all the dangerous stuff to Dracons! <gasps> well... What happened? That wasn't good! Uh, what's going on? I don't know. Oh no, everyone outside! Well, here we go. This is it. <laughs> Excuse me. Bellum and the ghost ship. What is that monster? That's Bellum. But how? I thought we defeated him. Look. Look at Tetra. So he was still alive. So that's why my power isn't fully restored. That squiddy thing is getting away! Alright, phase two time. I appreciate that phase two utilizes our ship. I, I really, like, in general, the Legend of Zelda series does a pretty good job having a big multi-phase final boss. Um, honestly, the more phases, the better for, like, last boss. Like, really, really crank it up. Um, that's one of the things I love with Twilight Princess, was that four phases, each one drastically different from each other. It's great. Anyway, hey, did you just possess the ghost ship? We have to chase after him. I'll take the wheel. Prepare to mend the cannon, Dracons. Full steam ahead! Wahoo! Alright, this is...
All right. enough punishment from the SS lineback? We did it! Okay, let's climb aboard. But wait, before you do that, this will be dangerous. Shouldn't we save first? Sure. Now that you've taken precautions and saved, let's climb aboard. Alright, so they checkpoint you at this point if you so wish. Kinda nice. Alright, everything's still recording. Good, good, good. Look, it's Tetradracons. Grandpa! My ship! As a ship captain, that is an appropriate response from him. That's right, Lineback. Very heroic. Stab it in the tentacle. Oh. Wake up! Wake up, Dracons! There's Tetra. Wake up! Hurry up! Already, Dracons. Dracons! Whoa, uh, uh, what? Let go of me, monster! And this is it dumping its energy. Dragons! Turning him into a special phantom. For phase three. You have to stay calm, Dragons. Get behind him and slash at his back. Well, that was poorly timed. What? What about his weak spot? His eye? God, I stopped timing everything. That eye has to open up at some point. Alright, I'll move to his back at the top screen. Hey, I see it. I can see it. Hey, dragons, look at the top screen. His eyes open. Oh, oh. Whoa. He got me. Sorry, dragons. Don't worry about me. Hey, his tentacle's losing its grip on me? Now it's time for a Phantom Sphere. Conceptually, I... Conceptually, I really like this fight. Not a huge fan of the implementation, though.
Got him. Damage buff for the win. And Bellum broke. Awesome. Whew. All right, and that's that. Dear God, the pixelation. Hey, Tetra. All right. Adding more time to the Phantom Hourglass that you can never use in game. I assume it's a big chunk, something like, um, maybe if five to bump it up to thirty or even fifteen. Eesh! Ah, what's going on? I thought. Are Are you okay, Lineback? You were possessed by Bellum. What? Oh, that's right. I, uh, I, I think I remember something about Dracons. I like that Lineback at the last moment becomes, like, does something really heroic and essentially saves you, but then he gets corrupted and he becomes the final boss. It's actually really cool how all that works. Ah, oh, kid, I mean, Dracons, I'm sorry. No, I was possessed by that monster, but to think that I... Shush, Lineback. If you hadn't stood up to Bellum like you did, who knows what might have happened to us. Well, I, I guess I got caught up in the moment. Um, what? That's not like you. Are you sure you're Lineback? My ship just took a little uh, damage. Grandpa! Oh, and... Hey, Tetra. All right. And the Legend of Zelda series obsession with whales continues in this one. What is it? Link's Awakening has a whale. Um, this has a whale. Skyward Sword has the whale. Um, Wind Waker also has one, that's right. Um... Yeah, they always have, like, whale god creatures. Well, not always, but in quite a few of the games, there's, like, a whale god of some kind. Um. Is that the only ones? I I'm just running through the series, and... Yeah, I think that might be. Hmm. Dracons, Linebeck, and Celia. I've returned to my true form. For that, I thank you. His true form is a giant whale. Well, that's nice. What? Whoa, old man, is that you? I never would have guessed you really look like that. Not for you, I've been sealed up forever. This sea would have fallen into desolation and evil. You saved me. And the great sea. Thank you. Linebeck. What? Who? Me? I have to make good on a promise I made to you. I grant you one wish. What is it? Come on, say it. You want treasure, don't you? Just ask. No, that's not it at all. I, I don't need treasures anymore, I think. Well, I guess if I have to. If you insist. Can you bring back my ship? The one that sank? What? That's it? You know, even if you ask for treasure later, that's it. 
That's enough from you, Sparkles. You always got to get in the last word, don't you? Santa Barbara's was returned in peace reigns. The ghost ship will no longer haunt your world. Our world? So, what is the world that we are in now? What is this place? Time for you to return your world is near. The door to your world is about to open. We are inhabitants of this world. We must return to the world of the Ocean King. Thank you, Dracons. And you too, Linebeck. Your courage will not be forgotten. Oh, well, thank goodness, Linebeck. Now I don't have to look at you any longer. I was getting tired of seeing you all the time. Ah, that's my line! Get out of here! Good riddance! Well, I'm leaving now. Thanks, Linebeck. I would like to stay with you, Dracons, but I'm a spirit. I serve the Ocean King. Now we have to say goodbye. Thanks, Dracons. Alright, so, that was the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Um, interesting adventure. This is one of the ones, like, this time period, Nintendo went super hard on hardware gimmicks. You had the DS with its dual screen and touch screen, and you had the Wii with its motion um, controls. And the three Zelda games that were developed for those systems all have just like very much like hardware gimmick based controls. Um, you have Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, both of which use the stylus for movement and attacks and virtually everything actually. It's almost entirely controlled with the touch screen. Um, then you had Skyward Sword that used the Wiimote um, for quite a bit, too. Now, overall, there were some really cool benefits to them having the touchscreen and some really cool control moments. The bigger problem is the overuse of said controls. Um, for instance, movement and sword swing should not have been mapped to the stylus controls. That should have been button inputs. But having things like you throw the boomerang by drawing the stylus... That's actually really cool. Um, the shooting with the cannon with the stylus, great. That really allows for better aiming in most cases, although it is a tad finicky, um, so they could have left that. But it's, it's one of those things where they had a few really good uses of the controls, but they went a little too hard on it. All right. Oh, there is more. Oh. Hey. Linebeck disappeared. The ghost ship is back. What's going on? I don't know. 
<laughs> That's what that look said. <laughs> so, you were okay all along? I was worried when I heard all that screaming, but you look fine. I realized he was talking after a What about the ghost ship? Was there treasure aboard? What are you talking about? Oh, blink. Poop. Face plant. I was all frozen forever on that thing. Dragon saved me. You wouldn't believe what he went through. Do you understand what we've been through? Where were you? Did you even look for us? What are you talking about? You were only on that ship. Um, it's only been about ten minutes. Ten minutes! You've got to be kidding me. Do you know what we've been through? I have no idea what you're talking about. How could I? It was probably a bad dream. You're not listening. It was longer than ten minutes, I'm telling you. Huh? Ghost ship is really, really dangerous. It's not there anymore. Dawn. <laughs> Just like that. I love how Link... Picks himself up to look over the railing because it blocks his vision. Because that's the height of it. The, 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 the ship, it's gone. It really was cursed. The dream you had with working at that ghost ship. Yay! Hey! I told you it wasn't a dream. You guys never listen. And she's arguing with them. That was actually a pretty decent shot. And there goes Linebeck. And it uses the actual ship that you had based on what you collected, which is pretty cool. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. The end. Um, I guess one of the other big things I should talk about is a lot of people do not um, like the Temple of the Ocean King. They have serious problems with it. Um, and I actually really like the Temple of the Ocean King. Um, the entire idea of keep going back into this dungeon, and if you get more and more tools, you're able to get more treasures. Floors become easier, you're able to speedrun them. And then the entire being able to speedrun to the bottom, I just wish there was a good reward for doing it, um, instead of just those two chests. But it's like, overall, I actually like the Temple of the Ocean King. Um, Spirit Tracks, which is a, another Zelda game that I will play at some point, um, it is also on the Wii U Virtual Console, so that's probably how I'll play it. But anyways, Spirit Tracks takes essentially the same formula and tries to improve it. Um, and overall I would say they succeeded with that in Spirit Tracks. Um, but yeah, we'll get into all that when we actually play it. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure, and that you'll join me for my next one. So anyways, I'll see all of you guys later. Bye!